Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a January closeout slash February opening video. So without further ado, let's go. So today we are going to uh, look at our balances and uh, total amounts in our envelopes. I realized that the new worksheet uh, workbook that I'm using doesn't really have a place where I can compare uh, beginning of month and end of month balances on something not other than your goals. So I will probably have to create an extra sheet in here or either on my computer so I just can track uh, the beginning of the month and end of the month balances across all of my sinking funds and not just the ones that I have like set goals for and also we're going to fill in our income and expenses for the entire month and which categories etc etc so let's first I guess then look at the three goals that I set so my first goal is uh, Christmas uh, second is emergency and third is a deposit so first goal is Christmas that's in my short term sinking funds and at the beginning of the month we had a 55 in Christmas and no I'm sorry that's a different binder that's not in Johnny Cash it's in the red one Christmas Christmas and now currently at the end of the month we have 50 70 80 and 90 so 90 in Christmas which means that we stuff how much is that a difference 90 minus 55 is 35 so we added 35 and the ending balance is 90 which means that in the beginning of February our uh, beginning balance is 90 and let's look at our tracker can we color anything in um, yes one of the icons is 58 and we have 90 which means that we get to color in one of these I just don't remember how much I 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 maybe 700 divided by 3 um, no I divided I think by 12 yes okay so that means that all of this is one icon and we get to color it in because we have hit 90 in Christmas. I probably need to rewrite this because I can't so see what it says. Okay, Christmas, perfect. So the next goal we had was um, emergency. So we had 300 at the beginning of the month and I think it's in this binder. No, it's in another binder. I don't remember which which categories are in which binders. That's in this one. Emergency has, let's see, 500, 720, 40, and 60. So 760 in um, emergency. So that's 760 at the end, which means we added 460 euros and Let's flip through the tracker, 760 divided by 250, we get to color in three icons. So one of them is colored, uh, let's do green maybe, three, so one, two, and three to represent how much we have saved and then the next is deposit uh, we had 2700 at the beginning of the month and at the end of the month we have let me flip through it we have 1000 2500 700 850 75 so 200 2875 in deposit And that means 2875. We added 175 throughout the month of January. And let's flip through the tracker. 2875 divided by 417. Almost 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And almost a full one of this. So I'm just going to leave it maybe like almost full. Next leaf. Perfect. So that's what the trackers are looking like right now. I would love to have like a layout like this for each 
and every of my categories but maybe it's a good thing that I don't otherwise this book would be very very long but I might set some new goals for myself throughout the year and then we can just kind of see I don't really have any other goals if I think about it like yeah none, none that I can think of right now but okay, uh, and let's do a yearly spending overview. So for our income for the month of January, our total income was 3,643 euros. And for the spending categories, I spent 151.91 in groceries, 75.42 in spending, 237.75 in dine out, five in gas, uh, utilities was 100. 11 and 12 miscellaneous was 22 euros and 40 cents upkeep was 25 euros um, beauty was 358 and 43 cents birthdays was 20 nothing in christmas clothing i spent 168 and 41 cents gifts i spent 52 euros and 90 cents health 138 euros and 69 cents and subscriptions i spent 18 uh, travel 643 and I think for all the other categories that's it so the total expenses for the month of uh, January good question actually wait I have my computer on the side and I just want to do a quick formula in Excel to see if my numbers are correct let me do a sum formula really quickly. I'm sorry, this is chaotic as usual. So two, yes, okay. So in total, our expenses was 3,028 euros and three cents. So balance, I assume, is the difference. Uh, so this doesn't technically matter to me, but I'm just gonna calculate it anyway. So 3,643 minus 2028 oh no mistake 20203 is 1614 and 97 cents okay so there is like a graph page here where you can track like savings debt retirement and net worth not sure if I want to do that, but currently at my savings, like the savings bulk that I'm doing and savings challenges, technically we have 388 euros. I don't have any debt, thank God. Retirement balance, maybe let's just track what we have in our retirement envelope because I do have a retirement uh, from my work, from like all of the things that I work, but I don't keep track of it because it's in like the country system. I also have all of my contributions to my retirement pre from previous years, but I don't count them. So I'll probably here just track the things that I uh, collected this year. So, so far in retirement, let's see how much we have for this year. 250, 70, 90, 310, and 315. So 315 in retirement. 315. And net worth is something that I don't really calculate because then I would have to uh, calculate like what I have in my worth in my car, let's say my phone, all of my possessions, like all of my investments and stuff like that. But that's not something that I really am worried about right now maybe in a couple of years i'll start tracking it but um yeah i don't know what i'm gonna use these graphs for but we'll see so that's kind of the update on that and i think that's all here i just track the bills that i pay and yes it's a very simple monthly like an overview uh it's a bit different from what I used to do previously, where I did like ending and the beginning of month balances for my sinking funds, then the grand total. I actually don't know my grand total in my sinking funds. So maybe that's going to be something that I track here. Uh, I might paraphrase this as the grand total across sinking funds. And I'm just going to calculate it um, off camera. And then I'm going to put the number in here and maybe we can track it uh, throughout the year. Yeah, I might do that. That's a good idea. So I will then go off camera, count all of my envelopes and all of my sinking funds, and yeah, put the final number in here. So that's kind of all for the video. It was very quick, very short, very sh straight to the point. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to be back very soon with more cash stuffing videos, more budgeting videos. I hope you decide to 
tune in for those too but yes i wish you a very wonderful week um to whatever you're doing good luck if you have any upcoming big plans and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye mm -hmm.